Hey guys and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really simple desk organizer. And if you watched my previous tutorial then you saw this model here. And this one is actually a lot easier to make because it's not as fancy as this one. But if you want to find out how to make this you can check my channel. There's a tutorial for it. You can use any size square sheet but I would highly recommend using something like cardstock paper so that your model ends up being really sturdy. So on that note let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. Alright, so for this model you're going to need six square sheets of paper and you will require a bit of glue to attach the six units together. And I have a little model here. And to make this I've used a six inch by six inch square sheet, which is the one down here. And as you can see it turned out a little bit too small. You can't really put pencils in there or anything like that. So I would recommend using a slightly bigger sheet. I've used around eight inches by eight inches here. And uh, for that size, it works out pretty well. You get sort of this unit right here. And you can put a few pencils and stuff in there. That being said, let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. Okay, so we're going to start with our square sheet. And you want to fold it so that the side edge here aligns with the side. So you're essentially folding it in half sideways. Once you have it properly aligned, crease it in. Unfold it. Now fold it so that the top edge aligns with the bottom edge. Once again, when you have it properly aligned, give it a nice crease. Unfold it. Now go ahead and fold it so that the bottom edge aligns with the center crease. So you're folding it up like this. And you want to fold it so that the tip comes and meets the center where all the creases intersect. So fold it up like that. Once you have it aligned, go ahead and crease it into place. Now we're going to fold it so that this bottom edge here comes in lines with the center crease. Once again, when you have it properly aligned, give it a nice crease. Now we're going to fold it so that the top edge here comes in alliance with the center. So it's going to fold down like this. And once again, when you have it properly aligned, give it a nice crease. Now we're going to turn it so that the top flap part is facing us, so the pointed tip faces away from us. And you want to fold it so that this edge comes and aligns the center. So fold it like that. Get it properly aligned. Once it's aligned, crease it into place. So you should end up with the shape. Now we're going to do the same thing with this side. So fold it so that this edge comes and aligns with the center crease. Once it's aligned, crease it into place. You should now end up with this shape over here. Now for the final step in putting this unit together, we're basically going to be taking this right flap here, inserting it into this opening, and we're pretty much just going to glue it into place. So it's going to go in like this. And before we insert it, we're going to apply a bit of glue in here so it glues into place and you end up with this shape. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take your glue stick and apply a little bit over here. You want to make sure you don't go past the edge of the square 
because as soon as you go onto this part here, it's going to be exposed when you insert it in. So just apply a bit down here. And do the same on the inside. So open up the flap, apply a little bit on the inside. And there you go. Now just go ahead, take this flap, insert it into this opening. Push it in all the way as far as it'll go. And just go ahead and press that down. And once you've done that, just wait for the glue to dry and then just go to all the edges and just define the creases once more. Do the same thing with the back edge here. Just press it in, crease it. And that's pretty much it. You should now be finished one of your units and it should look like this. Go ahead and make six of these and I'll show you how to assemble it. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and made six of these, you're going to take one of your units and you're going to apply a bit of glue on the side. And just go ahead and apply it all the way through, covering the entire surface. And then go ahead, select another one of your units, align them together and just glue it into place. Just like that. If you want to, you can put a paper clip in there until it dries, but it's not really necessary. And then you'll want to go ahead and do this for all the units. So just apply a bit of glue to the surface and attach the next unit on. We're going to go ahead and do that in time lapse and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've glued all the units in, you're pretty much finished. As you can see, the model is very useful, and it's also really easy to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.